Hi guys, it's um, Tony Guattari here with another passionate, practical business video vitamin. Hey guys, um, we're talking about one of my most favorite topics called negotiation. And I just wanted to give you um, really eight rules of negotiation. Uh, and clearly these are some of the rules that I have applied in my um, profession of negotiation. And I think it's really important to understand these if you want to get the best possible deal because we're always negotiating. So the first principle of negotiation is buyers who start with low offers do better. Um, and what I'm really suggesting here, and I'll just give you an insane idea here. A number of years ago, I uh, would have been, gee, 20 odd years ago now. It's a lot longer than just a number of years ago. Probably 20 years ago, um, Myself and, and my wife, um, we just recently got married and uh, I was working for Harvey Norman at that stage and clearly we decided to buy our first car together and it was a Datsun Stanza. I can still remember it was a brown colour and we went to uh, a, a marketplace called Flemington Car Markets where people would buy, you would buy the car at the markets. And I remember... Um, this car that we had eyed out had $8,000 on it, on the sign. And uh, I said to my wife, I'm going to offer them $4,000. Now, my wife was horrified. She was absolutely horrified that I would go that low. And I explained to her, Ingrid, I said, don't worry, honey. It's a negotiation technique. You know, I start so low, I border on the ridiculous. I'm expecting to get rejected. I'm completely comfortable getting rejected because I'm figuring we'll get it around about $6,000. Now here's what I actually do, is that I go there expecting to be get rejected. I go there confidently to the owners of that car, a husband and wife couple, I remember them. I think they were school teachers. And I said to them, we'll give you four grand. I'll give you cash right now for the product. Now, this is amazing. This is, didn't expect it to happen. This is what they did the next. They looked at each other for about 10 seconds. And what they did, they said, yes. Now, me, I was insulted. I said to them, no, 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 you're not supposed to say yes. Where is the fight? And here was my problem. I actually got upset with myself. Because you know what I said to myself? I should have went lower. So can I just give you an understanding here? Buyers who start with low offers do better. You've got to use embarrassment as a tactical weapon here, okay? It's really important that you actually break any, any fear that you have. You've just got to go for it. Number two principle is sellers who take less get less. And it's really important that um, that, 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 that's pretty obvious, that, that sellers who take less get less. Number three is people who budge a little on average do better. Okay, now, now clearly I'm a reasonably good negotiator. If you do budge, budge by very small increments. Because if you budge by really large increments, the, the person thinks you've still got so much fat in the deal. So if you do budge, budge by little amounts because it's actually setting a pattern that we're not fire off the final conclusion. So if you came to me looking for a price on a computer or a TV, it doesn't matter what it is. Now I would give you a very small, small discount because what I'm doing is I'm setting a precedence that, that we're not far off reaching the bottom price. Now, this is what you never do. You never actually, once you give a small discount, give a large discount after the second attempt because that is a very poor principle of negotiation. Number, three, pr number four principle is losers make the first concession on major issues. Okay, on major issues. The key here is that I might have a minor issue that I've introduced into the negotiation technique. And the reason I've introduced that is because I'm actually gonna 
throw that away. It's called a throwaway concession. And many times in my negotiation experience, I would make a big deal about something that I didn't care about. The reason I made a big deal about it is because effectively, I was going to throw it away as a way of invoking you to actually give something to me in return. Because the philosophy is that if I concede something, then you should do the right thing and concede something also. Next principle, deadlines, forces, decisions and agreements. Hey, let me share you a really, really important principle, scarcity sells. Scarcity is a very profound negotiating technique. I remember when I was a very young, unwise negotiator. One of the first business dealings that I ever did was in the noble country of Japan. And I remember my responsibility was to buy this computer range, I think it was from a, a branded, high profile Japanese manufacturer. And they decided that we should send you to Japan to do the negotiation. Now I was very young, I was probably about 29. I was wet behind the ears, I was really dumb in areas of negotiation. And I remember they picked me up in a limousine and only had three days because they organized the entire agenda, everything. And I had about three days, they, they, they get me to the airport and um, you know, they pick me up on the black limousine and, and I thought we we're gonna get down to business and they say, oh no business Tony, let's have fun. So we go around to all the tourist places of Tokyo and Japan, um, they go to the geisha bars and they go to all the bars and we have sake, we do the whole lot. And I'm going, this is fantastic. And then on day two, the same thing occurs again. And I'm going, what's going on here? Like, is there no negotiation? Because they were controlling it. And even on day three, they did nothing on negotiation. So they said, oh, no, 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 time for pleasure. We do business later on. And what did I know? I said, well, I don't know anything, so I'll just leave it to them. And you know what the most amazing thing is? You know when we did the negotiation? On the car ride back, to the airport when I'm about to leave to go back to Australia. That was a terrible negotiation from my perspective because the key is they knew my deadline, they knew when I had to leave and what they used is they used time pressure or my lack of time for me to become anxious to actually get an unfavorable outcome for our company. Now clearly I did learn from that experience Clearly, once bitten, twice shy. Clearly, I would never make that mistake again, but it was a really important mistake for me because it built the foundation of good and profound negotiation wisdom. Number five, quick decisions by one party favor the other party. It's really important that if you're gonna concede something, have the drama, oh, we can never do that. We've never done that for anybody. If you give in too quickly, remember the car example, I actually feel as if I didn't get a good price. There has to be drama. You have to say, we've never done that for anybody. We could never do that. That is against our company policy. Let me go back to head office and talk. I've got to speak to my board about that. That's insane, that's nuts. That is that approach. So really, really ensure that you don't make really quick decisions. Make very quick, deliberate, deliberate decisions that have thoughts, that, that draw out every ounce of energy from you. Number seven, any party who gives a large amount in one concession raises the other party's expectations. That's why you give small concessions. That's why you don't start with an extravagant price. Because if you start with a large discount, what I'm actually saying is there is so much more in this. And not only that, it actually gives you the perception that you've actually ripped me off to begin with because you're able to discount so dramatically. Number eight, winners trade off concessions for other concessions. Really obvious, the principle is reporosity. If I do something, you must do the same. That's why sometimes I have minor things that are major because I'm gonna give those away in order for you to invoke a concession also. So really, that's just eight really simple principles 
of negotiation, eight rules of negotiation, guys. And I really just hope that helps you because negotiation is a profound art. And I will assure you, you will not make as much money in your business as your ability to negotiate because the money you can make through very, very distinct, profound negotiation is amazing. And what I really like about negotiation is that even in tough times, the best time to negotiate is right now because there are a lot of companies that just want to retain your business. There are a lot of companies that are losing market share. There's a lot of companies that sales are actually, you know, dwindling backwards. And let me assure you, the best time to negotiate is when the market is soft. So although your sales might be less, your ability to negotiate is far greater than it being in any particular time. So guys, go for it. Have the most amazing week and God bless you.